Hello, my name is Philip Magnus and today I will be talking about Baldur's Gate 3 and its many wonderful and hilarious bugs. The pet speaks. Adorable. Now um, that wasn't called for. And a little hurtful, to be honest. I knew your kind to be fragile, but I didn't foresee the severity. Right. Here are five of the most common Baldur's Gate 3 bugs I came across during the first two major patches of the Early Access build of the game. It is worthwhile mentioning, of course, that I expect all of these bugs to be gone and done with by the time the full release comes around next year. When? We don't know yet, but it's looking pretty good. Already many of these bugs, I haven't encountered them in the latest patch for the early access. But I thought it would be fun to go back to all the footage I made and fish through it for all the hilarious uh, experiences I have had. 1. All the weird animation bugs, such as this beautiful thing with the ladder. You might notice my characters currently are not actually on a ladder, and yet they will not stop climbing. This goes on for a good long while. It is worth noting that whenever I toggled their animations from arm to an arm, they would stop. And I thought I had it fixed for a moment, and then we got back to this. I even got into a fight and they wouldn't stop, though I won't show that because I don't want to spoil any elements of the game that I don't have to. 2. Everyone is bloody telepathic. It is amazing just how many people you run across in your journey towards Baldur's Gate actually seem to have no trouble using telepathy to talk to your main character. It happens time and again as their mouths simply refuse to acknowledge any movement is happening. This is either amazing puppeteering or one of the more hilarious bugs in, there, in the grass. You can kill it, can't you? Three texture load times. And this one I am very fond of because not only will it often affect uh, the terrain, it will also occasionally show up in the most hilarious ways by showing only parts of uh, character models. Um, it didn't happen to me personally, but I know that for some people this particular bug manifested in showing no clothing to characters and it only showed their very, very finely animated breasts. They at least were the lucky ones. They got an eyeful. Me? Uh, I, I have nightmares over pieces of my favorite Gityanki fighter, over my lovely uh, floating head of an elf. I will be sending Larry and my therapy bills. Speak. Four. Some truly awkward cinematic shots, and most of all, this one bird hogging all the attention while you speak with a druid. It is, it is, ah, uh, I don't even have the words for it. It's just, some people are not happy with being a sidekick. And this bird is one of them. Fifth, but certainly not least, is this gorgeous bug which I like to call the ragdoll bodies that broke the world mostly because sometimes, very rarely, but still it, ha it is known to happen you get someone dead, they die and then what have you got? Beautiful rag bodies and so you watch as the physics of the world are broken in ways incomprehensible to the human mind thank the gods we have AI now a small added bonus, since I don't have enough footage of it to show it around, the T-poses, which uh, I have actually named here for your benefit. I saw this happening maybe twice, but I don't think I have the second time recorded, so this really, really short 
scene that I showed at the beginning is really all I can show you. So if there's one lesson you need to take from this video, it is that yes, Baldur's Gate 3 Early Access is absolutely worth it because it is unintentionally hilarious as well as quite excellent. It is very enjoyable and it gives you all the tools you might have wanted from a um, video game version of the D&D 5e rule set. I will be talking more about it in the future, certainly, but for now, if you enjoyed this video, please like it, share it, subscribe it, and don't forget there is more coming. I'm Philip Magnus and I will see you next time.